Hi, welcome back. This is part two of the series of tutorials on Wondershare video editing software. In the last video, we learned how to start up the software with the correct aspect ratio, 16 by 9 or 4 by 3. We then went on to importing video and adding it to our timeline. We then saved our project. In this video, we are going to learn how to cut, trim, and add transitions to your video. Let's just start now by adding another second clip to our project. Now let's drag it down to the timeline at the end of the footage. You can put it here at the start, drag it over here to the start and as you notice your existing footage will move off to the right to accommodate it. Let's just put it over here at the end. Let's start now by trimming the first clip we added to the timeline. Look at the preview window here, or from this area. You can see we have a blue screen. We don't want this, so we're going to trim this out of the uh, clip. First you have to select the clip you want to trim. To do this, hover over and then click on it. As you can see, it highlights the clip you want to trim. This is the clip we want to trim. Now move your cursor off the left hand side. See how it changes from a hand to an upright bar with arrows pointing. One to the left and one to the right. Click on this and drag it where you want your clip to start. Look at your preview window on the top right hand side. And you can see footage. So you can drag it to where you want your footage to start. Let me just put it here. That has automatically cut that out and trimmed it. So now your video starts there. I also can select the end of the clip and drag in it to where I want the video to end, like so. In this clip, there is footage that can't be used. We have to cut this footage out. We can do this in two ways. First thing we have to do is find the footage we want to cut out. There are two ways of doing this. You can press the play here, or you can drag this slider across until you get to the area you want to cut out. As you can see, it starts to go all over the place here. So let's just go back a bit. We can zoom in a bit on our timeline so we can control it a little bit more accurately. Now let's try it just in this slider. Okay. There. Cut this now at that point. Make sure your clip is selected, it's highlighted, it's brighter. See this here? And just click on the scissors. Now we can go to where the end of that portion we want to cut out. See here. And we click on the scissors again. This is the area we don't want. So first of all we have to highlight this area by clicking on it. Then click on the trash bin. Now 
Now the clip has been deleted. You can cut your clips into smaller clips if you want. And delete the ones you don't need. Now would be a good time to save your project. I just press Ctrl S and if you notice I didn't have to navigate to the area where I have my project uh, saved. Now we're going to add some transitions to the timeline. Click here on transitions and you will have a, a selection of transitions to choose from. We'll select this one here. Now click and drag it down to the timeline. You can select where you want to put it. It'll only go where there's a cut in your footage. So we'll select here. And we can slide this across to have a look at our transition. The other way is we can press play to see it in real time. If the transition is not quick enough for you, select the transition by clicking on it, right click, edit, and here you have the time. It's set for two seconds, you can change it like this. There's one, two, three. So let's just leave it at two seconds. You can select apply to all and that uh, time period there will be applied to all your transitions in your project. We have learned to cut, trim and add transitions to the timeline. In the next video in the series we'll be looking at adding titles and cropping. Uh, thanks for watching and see you in part 3.